Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show just a small update on this basic pulse motor setup of mine. This time I have here a trigger coil in place with a potentiometer, a pot, so I can tune it and make it uh, run slower or uh, super fast. Uh, over here everything is basically the same. I'm running it now on the uh, I think it's a tip uh, 35.5 or a tip 142. Mm, to be honest, I have forgotten. Other than that, it's still the same. This time I am using my uh, meters panel. So you can see the voltage over here of that battery. And of course, I'm going to use the 3 amp scale because it does use a lot. Let me start it up. Yes, it is starting up now. As you can see, at the uh, 3 amp amp meter, I can work the pot over here and also work the input. If I let it go completely, it is now pulling almost 2.5 amps. And that's the voltage of the battery. And now I'm running it on, uh, yeah, that's roughly, yeah, like uh, one quarter of an amp. That's the speed of it now. If I tune it over here, you can hear it also, every time I turn it, nothing special here, simple basic pulse motor circuitry. Now the pot is completely open, there's almost no resistance now to the base of the transistor. It's pulling now, yeah let's say 2.5 amps. 12 upon 1. The speed is not that good as uh, it was when uh, I had here a hall sensor. But with this setup, I can tune it. Yeah, now it's really going. Yeah, you have to find a sweet spot. With the hall sensor, I don't have that problem. But now I really have to play with the pot to find the... Uh, it's just around here somewhere. Yeah. It's not running as hard or as fast as usual. Pulling now, uh, let's say, 800 milliamps. And I can go to around, yeah, it's now around 200 milliamps. And of course, when the input amps is lower, the voltage climbs back up again. Just wanted to show you that. Very simple, just a pot. Every time I turn it, you can hear it. So yeah, you can play with it. Now it's picking up speed again, which is more than normal because it's pulling now one amp. And it can even go slower. Anyway, you get the idea. When I had here a hole sensor, it's much better because uh, you don't have to look for the sweet spot. It uh, finds it itself and just go like crazy. 
anyway small update hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching